G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to go through three careers that I will never have. Now the first one is going to be a radio news presenter. Obviously I'm trying to get into radio, I've done a course, I've done some community radio. I'm working my way to the top. I'm working my way to the starting line really. So during my 20 week course we would try heaps of different areas of radio to give us a good taste of things. We tried news reading and uh, that's where I came a little bit unstuck. I just knew I was going to struggle at it. I started to read the news and I got the giggles. Fence. Police will prepare a report for the coroner. Almost 300 bags of radio. <laughs> Almost 300 bags of radioactive debris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now to sport. Some kill to star Jack Stephen has taken. So once I started, I couldn't stop. It was absolutely ridiculous. The teacher comes in and goes, "It's really hard to stop giggling." I understand, but we'll swap roles. So I got put onto sports. Danny, the woman's voice you heard at the end, who was very professional during the whole thing. Uh, got put onto weather and then Ash had to do the news. So we reset, the news music comes in again and straight away when that music comes in again, I lose it. And you can hear Ash trying to hold it together and he's one second away from just absolutely losing it while reading out the news. So take a look. Where are after Tony Abbott was overthrown last night, Malcolm Turnbull says changes to the ministry are inevitable. Julie Bishop, who will continue as deputy PM, has rejected comparisons to former PM Julia. God. He can't get through it. <laughs> and her treatment of Kevin Rudd. Council inspector inspecting the pool and fence. Police will prepare a report for the coroner. <laughs> Alright guys, the next career that I will never succeed at is Karate Master. Yeah! A long time ago actually, I was about 15, 14, Dad goes, you know what son, you look like you got a head that deserves to be kicked in, so we're going to get you some, uh, some self-defense. So we went down and I did a couple of years of it. Our karate group was going to have a tournament against a karate group from another town. Now I'm 14, 15, but only been doing this for about four months. These guys are 14, 15, but have been doing it since they were like five. So I versed in my first fight a guy who was like a month off being a black belt. So this is my first fight. This is the first couple of seconds. Take a look. Watch me have a crack. <laughs> so here we go, gang. Old McDonald had a fight. The guy that got a black belt like two weeks later. Front up. McDonald, he's up, bang, he, he clocked me in the head. Now it's non-contact, but his first kick clocks me in the head and he gets a point. Now come on, you know, confidence wasn't at the highest point at, at that stage. We start fronting up and he puts on an absolute clinic. He really puts Dosso in a corner. And um, yeah, it's, it's clinical the way he just puts me away there, but I say I'm not having this. I'm not having this no longer. I'm fighting back. So I go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just keep fronting. I'm putting him on the back foot. He flies another kick, I block it. Did you see that block though? Did you see that? Look at this. Wow, wow. As if I'm not the next bloody Jackie Chan. Anyway, I start to really go him. And he says, I'm having none of that. I'm putting you away. And then he really just put me to the sword for the rest of the fight. I was just firmly on the back foot, but um, you know, lot, lot to learn, lot to learn. So I'm glad karate isn't a career that I'm trying to pursue, but the next one I wish I could pursue, I'm just no good at it. Singer, songwriter. Here are some of the songs that I made when I was younger, and uh, yeah, take a listen. I'm surprised none of these are top hits. Someone's really hurt me bad at age 14 because I've said a pretty cut. Oh, McDonald. 
Um, the next one I'm going to show you is Cringy Love Song. Did I just say, you're the one that I love, you're the one that I bought? <laughs> Is this a, a mail order bride situation that's left me? I see I'm very cut about it. This is some song songwriting for you. Definitely not written in 2016 where men can love men and women can love women. And then the next song I'm going to show you is my effort for the grand old flag. Imagine the days running out to this today. How good would that be? Anyway guys, thanks for watching today. Bit of a longer video with a lot of content involved. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back soon with a song. After trade period ends and I've got something to write about, I'll be back with a, a tune. So stay tuned for the tune. Stay tuned for the tune. Stick around for the sound. You just can't write that sort of stuff, can you? Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you soon. See you guys.